Hebrews 7, 16 says it this way. It's still building on Jesus as the creator of all things and the creator of a new creation. We read so much about Jesus as the high priest, and we've only thought of it as pertaining to our individual sins, that Jesus had to perform something to deliver us from our individual sins. And I don't say that that isn't part of it, but Jesus is the Lamb of God who took away the sin of the world. And he comes as the high priest to now do something that could liberate all of creation from the death that entered by one man, Adam. And his primary purpose as the high priest is to bring that about to where he de delivers or perfects the world from the death that entered by one man, Adam. That's his primary purpose there. So Hebrews 7, 16 says it this way about Jesus, that Jesus was made high priest not by the law of a carnal commandment, but according to the power of an endless life. I'm going to say that again. Jesus was made high priest, not by the law of a carnal commandment, but according to the power of an endless life. Endless there means indestructible when you look it up. It's by the power of an indestructible life. Now, the law prophesied of Jesus coming as the high priest. And so it set up high priests according to the carnal commandments in the law. But the author of Hebrews comes and says Jesus was not made high priest according to the law of a carnal commandment. He was made high priest according to the power of an indestructible life. And really one of the things the author is getting at there is that the law could never bring about God's desire. It could never produce God's desire. It could only prophesy of God's desire. And so none of the earthly high priests that were made high priests by the law of a carnal commandment could ever bring about God's desire for mercy. They could never do it. And we'll see why they could never do it in a, se in a second. But it's like Paul saying in Romans, I think, 8, where he says God did through Jesus what the law couldn't do. He says he condemned sin in the flesh. He conquered death in our bodies through Jesus. And he says the law could never have conquered death in our flesh because of the weakness of our flesh, right? Meaning, how can our flesh conquer death when our flesh doesn't have an indestructible life? Now, in the same way, all the high priests in the Old Testament that were high priests according to the law of a carnal commandment, they could never accomplish God's desire because they didn't have an indestructible life. All they could do was prophesy of the one who would be high priest and that he would be high priest according to the power of an indestructible life. And I think what we want to understand, guys, is that there was a very specific purpose for the high priest, the position of high priest. You can think of it like the position of a company. When you're hiring somebody for the position of a company, it's a very specific need you're trying to fill, right? You're not just like, well, let me hire anybody. Like, you want to look at their qualifications. You want to see, can they perform the task? You want to understand, do they have the skill set to do the things we need to be done? We're trying to figure out how to be able to hire somebody to manage all the technology stuff because it's a disaster for me to try to handle it, right? Well, we're not just going to hire some guy off the street like me because I spend 14 hours a day trying to figure out, and I don't get anywhere. We're going to look for somebody with a very specific skill set that has a very specific qualification. So you want to think of God, allow me the poverty of this earthly example, you want to think of God needing to fill the position of high priest. And you want to think about this high priest has to be able to perform a certain duty or a certain uh, task. And so he's got to have a certain skill set to be able to fill the position. He's got to have a certain qualification. Now, what is the job description of high priest? What is the job description of the high priest? The job description of a high priest is to minister the things pertaining to God's desire. That's what a high priest was. They were a minister of the things pertaining to God. Well, we started last week and led into this week talking about what are the things pertaining to God. God desires mercy. And so a high priest... The only way you could actually fill the position of high priest, the only way you could actually qualify to be the high priest is if you could actually minister God's desire for mercy.